Hi guys! Today we're going to read this story, The Little Ant. And this story talks about a domino effect. And we've talked about that in school before, um, how when one person does something nice, it kind of trickles down to everyone else and makes everyone else do something nice. Sometimes when people do bad things, make bad choices, it might make other people do bad choices. So let's see if this little ant, if he made a good domino or a not so good domino. Let's see. This story is by David Novak. And this is a special book because this was actually my book when I was in pre-K. There was an ant, a busy little ant with a great big appetite. One day, as he scurried home from dinner, for dinner with a large crust of bread, a snowflake suddenly landed in his path. Whoosh! The little ant slipped and fell. Oh no, the snowflake came through and made the ant bob. I wonder if that's happened to you before. Has anyone ever bumped into you before maybe and did you fall? Let's see what the ant does. Snowflake, said the little ant. You're a big bully. You did that on purpose and I hurt my leg. Well, you won't get away with it. Before the snowflake could say a word, the little ant dragged him all the way to jail. Oh dear, that's not a good way to solve your problem. He's not even talking to the snowflake about it. He's just blaming him and shouting with unkind words. Sheriff, said the little ant, arrest this snowflake. He fell in my way and made me slip and fall. I hurt my leg. Is that so, said the sheriff. He looked at the snowflake. You fell out of the sky and made the little ant slip and hurt his leg. You big bully, what do you have to say for yourself? Poor snowflake. Everyone's so mad at him. Oh dear, the snowflake trembled and said, I'm not a bully. I fell from the sky because I had to escape from the real bully who tried to melt me into a drop of water. Don't arrest me. Hmm, who would try to melt a snowflake? Arrest the sun. Is that so, said the sheriff. He looked out the window and called, Sun, get in here. Oh, here we go. Let's see what the sun has to say. Whoa. Flash. Look how bright the sun is. Into the jail came the sun. Everyone's got their sunglasses on. Here he is. Oh no. Sun, said the sheriff, you tried to melt the snowflake who made the little ant slip and hurt his leg. You big bully. What do you have to say for yourself? The sun flickered and said, I'm not the bully. I had to shine bright and hot because the real bully tried to cover me up. Who would try to cover up the sun? Don't arrest me, arrest the clouds. Is that so, said the sheriff. He looked out the window and called, cloud, get in here. Here comes the cloud. Whoosh, whoosh. Into the jail came the cloud. Ooh, look at the sun. Everyone keeps blaming each other. Let's see what happens here. Cloud, said the sheriff. You covered the sun who tried to melt the snowflake who made the little ant slip and hurt his leg. You big bully, what do you have to say for yourself? The cloud sighed and said, I am not the bully. I covered the sun because the real bully pushed me into it. Don't arrest me. Who would push the cloud? I'll give you a hint. Arrest the wind. Is that so, said the sheriff. He looked out the window and called, wind, get in here. Here comes the wind now. Everyone keeps blaming, blaming, blaming. Whoosh. Wow. And into the jail came the wind. It's blowing everything around. Look at all the papers. There's a the little ant. Hmm, let's see what the wind has to say. Wind, said the sheriff, you pushed the cloud who covered the sun, who tried to melt the snowflake, who made the little ant slip and hurt his leg. You big bully, what do you have to say for yourself? Look at that angry face. The wind whined and said, I am not the bully. I blew into the cloud because the real bully stopped me. He was too tough to pass through, so I had to go around him. Then I bumped into the cloud. Hmm, who could it be? Don't arrest me. Arrest the wall. Is that so, said the sheriff. He looked out the window. 
he called. Whoa, get in here. If you're standing behind the wall and wind is blowing, you don't feel the wind, right? So the wall blocked the wind. Here he comes, all made of bricks. Clunk, 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 clunk. Into the jail came the wall. Here's everyone. Not looking too happy, huh? Blaming, blaming, blaming each other. Wall, said the sheriff. You stopped the wind who pushed the cloud, who covered the sun, who tried to melt the snowflake, who made the little ant slip and hurt his leg. You big bully, what do you have to say for yourself? The wall groaned. I am not a bully. I have to be thick and tough as can be because the real bully nibbles at me. He nibbled a hole in me. Hmm, what animal might nibble a hole into a wall? Hmm, arrest the mouse. Is that so, said the sheriff. He looked out the window and called, Mouse, get in here. Here he comes. Beep, 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 beep. There he is in the window. Oh dear, this is just getting out of control. No one is using their words. Everyone's just blaming each other. Mouse, said the sheriff, you nibbled a hole in the wall. Who stopped the wind, who pushed the cloud, who covered the sun, who tried to melt the snowflake, who made the little ant slip and hurt his leg? You big bully, what do you have to say for yourself? The mouse squeaked, eek, I am not a bully. I had to nibble a hole in the wall so I could hide because the real bully chased me. Don't arrest me. Who chases mice? Arrest the cat. Is that so, said the sheriff. He looked out the window and called, cat, get in here. There he is, and into the jail came the cat. Cat, said the sheriff, you chased the mouse, who nibbled a hole in the wall, who stopped the wind, who pushed the cloud, who covered the sun, who tried to melt the snowflake, who made the little ant slip and hurt his leg. You big bully, what do you have to say for yourself? The cat purred and said, hmm, I am not the bully. I chased the mouse because the real bully made me. He scared me into chasing him. Don't arrest me, arrest the man. Is that so, The sheriff said the sheriff. He looked out the window and said, man, get in here. Huh? And into the jail came the man. Man, said the sheriff, you scared the cat who chased the mouse, who nibbled the hole in the wall, who stopped the wind, who pushed the cloud, who covered the sun, who tried to melt the snowflake, who made the little ant slip and hurt his leg. You big bully, what do you have to say for yourself? The man frowned and said, I am not the bully. I scared the cat into chasing the mouse because I thought the mouse was stealing from me. But now I can see the real bully is standing right there. Who is stealing from the man? Look what he's got in his hand. The man pointed the finger at the ant. Look, he's holding a crust of my bread. Don't arrest me, arrest the ant. Oh no, here it comes, back to the ant. So you're the one who started this whole thing, the sheriff said to the little ant. You stole from the man who scared the cat, who chased the mouse, who nibbled a hole in the wall, who stopped the wind, who pushed the cloud, who covered the sun, who tried to melt the snowflake, who made you slip and hurt your leg. What do you have to say for yourself? The little ant looked around the crowded jail cell and said, hmm, what would you say if you made a mistake and you wanted to make it right and make it better? What are those words that you might say? I'm sorry, said the ant. I guess I wasn't thinking. The sheriff crossed his arms and looked at the little ant. I'm glad you're sorry, the sheriff said. Then he looked at everyone and said, always remember that no matter how great, no matter how small, what is done by one makes a difference to all. And from that day on, they all did their best to think about what they were going to do before they did it. The end. So do you see how that domino happened? When one little ant made a bad choice, he stole and he took the bread, it made everyone else do things that got them in trouble and weren't, weren't really good choices. 
So that's what I want you guys to think about today. What are you going to do or what are you going to say and how will that make other people feel? So let's try to do things that are good things, good good choices that will make other people happy and make the domino come back around and maybe something nice will happen to you, okay? I hope you guys have a great day and think about the little ant today. Bye. Try to make your own domino effect today with Legos or blocks around your house. When Paul knocked down the first block, it made all the other blocks fall too. Think about your behavior and the choices that you make today. How will it affect the people around you and the ones that you love? Let's make it a great domino day and spread kindness all around.